Yeah, back on the Sportsman Zone, we turn to athletics. Three-time Olympic gold medalist Shelley and Fraser Price has announced she'll re be retiring following the 2024 Paris Olympics. The 37-year-old Fraser Price is, in an interview with Essence.com says her family is her priority at this stage of her life. There's not a day I'm getting up to go to practice and I'm like, I'm over this. My son needs me. My husband and I have been together since before I won in 2008. He has sacrificed for me. We're a partnership, a team. And it's because of that support that I'm able to do the things that I've been doing for all these years. And I think I now owe it to them to do something else. Shelley and Fraser Price, Lance, arguably the greatest sprinter ever, says this is the year. Well, you say arguably the greatest sprinter ever. I would say she's the greatest 100-meter sprinter ever, and that's not in debate, mm. male or female. Um, and arguably, she's the greatest sprinter all time. I think she's making a good decision because she has given enough. This is 15 years now of competing successfully at the highest level. And regardless of what happens uh, to her in, in Paris, I think... It is a good decision. She turns 38 years old in December, and um, there's nothing more for her to prove, quite frankly. And I, I, think, I think this is a good decision. I've said this before, and I'm going to repeat it for emphasis, Ricardo. And this is not when I juxtapose the Usain Bolt career and her, her career. This is not in any way, shape, or form trying to compare them. Yes. I just think when I make the point it will highlight the greatness of Shelley and Fraser Price. Both Fraser Price and Bolt burst onto the global scene with their successes at the Beijing Olympics. Bolt retires in 2017. Six years after Bolt retires, Shelley and Fraser is the laureus sportswoman of the year. Not track and field athlete of the year. She is the greatest sportswoman in all sport in 2023. And that tells me something, that while Bolt is rightly given the phenomenal labor that he is given, there has to be something said about the colossal nature of Shelley and Fraser Price's brilliance. And let me add to that longevity. Yes. Because Bolt has long retired. Yes. And he's great, phenomenal. There's no athlete that has captured track and field in a way that Bolt has. But Shelly Ann Fraser Price, still one of the best in the world, and in 2022, because of her performances, was the 2023, um, announced 2023 as the Laureus Sportswoman, Sportswoman of the Year, ahead of all of the greatest sports stars in, in the world, the tennis stars, the swimmers, everyone. I just think that Shelly Ann has achieved enough and there's, no, there's nothing else that we could ask of her. Yeah, a few things here, Lance. So I, I completely agree with you. One, I think this is significant because while we speculated and while Shelley and Fraser Price has hinted at it in the past that this could be her final year and Paris for sure will be her final Olympic Games, I think in the back of our minds, we were always thinking there's that possibility that she could go on beyond 2024, depending on whether her body held up and how she performed at the Olympic Games. Yes. And because of how phenomenally she has been performing in recent years as well, it was not beyond imagination that she could decide to go True. beyond this season. But I agree with you. I think she is making a very good decision, regardless of what happens in 2024 and what happens at the Olympic Games. On to the point about not comparing Shelley and Fraser Price and Usain Bolt. And at the risk of being battered like Johan Blake... Let me say that Usain Bolt, during his time, and understandably so, overshadowed 
many athletes in the sport of track and field. Shelly and Fraser Price was one of those athletes. In my opinion, I think Shelly and Fraser Price has become the face of track and field in many ways. Um, because, of course, the 100 meters being the blue ribbon event. Um, and yes, you can't take away from what Elaine Thompson Hira has done at the Olympic Games. What she has done is phenomenal and must never be understated. Yes. But what Shelly and Fraser Price has done from 2008. Um, which we are seeing now, now which were, with, with, when she advertised her, her quality. There you go. What she has done since that time, the way she carries herself, the fact that she was away from the sport um, to give birth to her son Zion and came back as a champion, won a 2019 world title, won another world title in 2022 after the Olympic disappointment. And I say disappointment of 2021 because she was going for a third 100 gold medal in four years and was in great form to get it. But um, stopped by a phenomenal effort from Elaine Thompson era. So when you take all of that into account, I think since Usain Bolt, Shelly and Fraser Price has come more to the fore as the real superstar that she is. And I think since Usain Bolt left the sport, more people are realizing the real greatness of Shelly and Fraser Price in her performances, but also in her longevity. And the fact that in 2022, Lance, this woman ran faster than she'd ever done before, did things that no woman at her age had ever done before, and maybe not even herself would imagine that she would have done, is rather special. Yeah, you know what? I, I, I just think that Shelly Ann Fraser Price's attitude mm -hmm. to her sport has propelled her to where she is. Yes. Her, her commitment, her determination, the fact that she is... She considers herself a champion. Yes. And when she takes the track for a major event, there's a kind of ferocity that she goes into the event with that makes her really, really hard to beat. I know she'll be a couple months away from her 38th birthday when she competes in Paris this year, but it takes a brave analyst to write her off for gold because this is the stage that Shelly Ann Fraser Price shows her class. Yeah. And while there are a lot of younger stars rising, Shelly Ann Fraser Price on a world championship moment or an Olympic moment has shown consistently through her career, not yeah. up and down, yeah. consistently through her career, that when she takes a track and a major gold medal is at stake, you can't write her off. She is one of the greatest champions the sport has ever seen, Lance, in um, following her 2019 World Championship success in Doha. I had done a piece looking at her achievements, um, specifically in the 100 meters and the win percentage. No other sprinter um, on the women's side compared to her, and I think you had to go to the distance events yes. to the likes of Turanesh de Barba to get anyone who had won with the type of uh, consistency that she had whenever she stepped to the line in a 100 final on the global stage she usually delivered and to beat her you had to come with something special and those are the times when she's been beaten either she's been injured clearly obviously mm. or you are just better than her she's a phenomenal athlete a phenomenal woman and yeah i won't be able to say much more about her if i don't take this break um, because my producer will take charge. We'll be back with more on the Sportsman Zone.